All right, everybody, welcome back to the Fig Cave YouTube channel. I'm on unboxing number two of my childhood collection. If you missed the first video, we unboxed Marvel Legends Punisher. Uh, I'm unboxing all of my figures I've collected uh, of my favorite characters from TV, movie, video games, cartoons as a kid. I'm going to display them all like I have on my shelf back here. Uh, so let's get to it. Number two in my collection is Michelangelo from the Ninja Turtles. This is Bandai. It's through Nickelodeon. Um, BTS is what the company is called. Loyal Subjects owns them. Uh, I was going to get like a NECA or Super 7. I don't need really something that expensive. And they're almost too detailed for what I'm doing. I really want something really authentic to my childhood as a kid. And this figure really hit me when I saw it at Walmart. I think this was like 20 bucks, $22, whereas the Super 7 and NECA figures go for $40 to $70, I believe. I'm, I'm not a collector of them, so I don't know exactly. Uh, before we get too deep into the video, guys can follow us on Instagram at The Fig Cave and Twitter at Cave Fig. We do a weekly wrestling figure podcast, but we talk everything figure collecting. Um, and we have some wrestling coming up in a later video, so make sure to check that out. Right now we're doing Michelangelo. Let's read the box. I did not read the Punisher box. That's on me. That's my bad. But we're gonna from now on we're going to. Um, packaging here, pretty cool. I mean, this jumps off the shelf at you. You got the cartoon looking Mikey here. The guys on the side be a nice displayable piece. I think they have a nice big window. Again, these are available from Walmart, but I'm sure different retailers like Entertainment Earth and BBTS do it too. Big Bad Toy Store. Let's read the back. Michelangelo, uh, parentheses Mikey, is the impressionist, practical joker, and class clown. He soaks up all kinds of info from radio, TV, video games, etc. He's also the most athletic, but the least excited when it comes to training. Michelangelo's weapon of choice, the nunchuck. Uh, okay. Uh, I think you need Robert Rudman to uh, write your copy on here, Loyal Subjects. Not the most exciting copy I've ever read. Kyle Peterson, see you later. Check out Kyle Peterson. If you don't already, check out Kyle Peterson on uh, YouTube. An awesome collector of uh, everything. Everything. Whatever you like, he collects it, and he has unboxing videos for it. We get a BTS AXN. I really don't know what this company is called. I checked the box. I don't know what this is. BTS? Um, I know Loyal Subject Subjects was the company on the back, so I don't know if this is a, a sub-brand. They didn't tell us on the box. I don't know. So a little miss on their part. Uh, this probably goes around the waist, I would assume. Kind of uh, hold, hold his uh, chucks, nunchucks on the back. Maybe some sort of grappling hook. Pretty cool looking. Got two sets of hands. Oh, my God. Two sets of hands. Another extra head that I dropped somewhere. There we go. Okay, so you got this smiling head. A kind of smirking head. Let's call it smirking. Smirking head there. You got the just plain... I don't know why we did this head. He's got a slight smile. No, no kind of mean head going on. So let's change out. We had some trouble with that Punisher head. Oh, it looks like we can take this all apart. And it looks like also the midsection is coming apart here. I don't know if that's good or bad or what. But it looks like everything is coming apart while we're trying to take the head off here. Okay, I'm not going to fuck with the head because this thing feels like it's going to fall apart. It's like one of those things where you take one thing off and it's all interconnected. So this is not as detailed as a NECA figure. I can already tell I've never owned a NECA figure or hold held one, but this just feels pretty basic. But for what I need, it's perfect. But if I was doing a Ninja Turtles specific collection, this is not what I would buy, okay? It's probably a step up from kind of a basic like toy you would find at Walmart or Target in the, in the normal toy, toy aisle because it does have some pretty nice articulation um, I like the coloring. I think it's spot on as far as like what it's supposed to be. Probably more fun for a kid to play with than, than uh, the display. So um, if you're trying to do like a real deal Ninja Turtles cartoon collection, um, I would definitely go with like one of those higher end brands. 
But for me, again, this is perfect. I'm just doing one person from every show. I was a huge Turtles fan. That cartoon, man, we've done some recaps, some reviews on the uh, the Run-In Podcast Patreon. Check their podcast out if you don't already. Those guys are awesome. And um, we've watched a couple episodes back, and it still holds up. It's a great cartoon. It came out like, man, I want to say 30 years ago now. So this is really cool. I can't get this head off, and I'm not going to do the same thing as I did with the Punisher and look like an idiot. I'd probably put this one on. I would have wanted some kind of mean face, kind of with all this teeth showing, like a fighting face. We didn't get that. It looks like on the back here, this will plug in. Probably wasn't any room for it in the packaging. And you slip his nunchucks in there when you're not using them. That's pretty cool. Uh, for me, I'll probably have him hold one set of nunchucks and put one back there. Um, kind of like ready to fight mode. The The grip on these hands is not very good. Looks like it's not going to hold this nunchuck very well. And that might be a problem. Yeah, this is... Man, you, see, you I, I, this is pretty cool for people watching this. Because I don't collect Marvel Legends. I don't collect any of these figures. But the difference in quality between that Marvel Legend I opened, that Punisher, and this is like really apparent. Like this is falling apart. The, the hands don't hold this. Um, it's real rubbery and kind of droopy. It's nothing like special. Um, not saying this is a bad figure, but it's not something I would be excited to own if I wasn't doing this collection. Uh, I know they make a lot of like, rock, this company makes a lot of like rock and roll stars, like guys from ACDC, and I've heard people really don't like those. Um, again, if I'm just going to pose them like this, it's great. But getting this in his hand is not going to be easy. It does not grip at all. Like, it's too loose. Um, there is another set of hands, though, though, that does probably grip it a little bit better. So I'll probably switch those out. Uh, but those seem too... No, those aren't even open. So these are just kind of like closed fist fighting hands. Um, oh, wait. So one closed fist fighting hand and one open fist, which is kind of cool. You get a little bit of both. Because you'd probably be holding these. Let's see if we can get the hands off without it all falling apart. Oh, that was easy. Okay. Hands come off pretty easy. Snap in pretty... Wow, those, those snap in real nice. Okay. Wow. Man, compared to like a wrestling figure, these snap in so nicely. They don't even make a sound, so you don't think it's in there all the way. But it is. Um... So I'll maybe just have him holding this like this. It looks pretty stupid though, because um, obviously it's gonna it's not gonna stay like that unless you're in zero fucking gravity. But uh, we'll we'll play with it. We'll play with it. So now we got uh, Frank Castle, the Punisher. We got Michelangelo, two of my favorite characters as a kid. Uh, we have a lot more to go. So I'm gonna release these videos. Uh, I don't want to say once a week, probably once every other week, maybe a little bit often, more more often, I don't know. Uh, we'll see how people like them. Comment in the, in the comments section if you played with uh, Ninja Turtles, if you were a big collector, uh, who your favorite turtle was, if you liked the movie ones, the cartoon ones. This is very reminiscent of cartoon Ninja Turtles. Um, if I give that uh, Punisher an A, mi a I probably give this a B minus. Not terrible. Uh, a lot of articulation, the knees work, the hands work, the feet work, but taking the head off and taking it apart is, is kind of a, a weird situation. So that's it for me, guys. Again, follow the, the podcast on iTunes or Spotify is where you can listen to us. We're a weekly wrestling figure podcast. We're also on Instagram at The Fig Cave, and we are on Twitter at Cave Fig. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be back with another episode very soon. Stay classy.